Hey, MZRA Nation, Jason here. Welcome into now day eight of the 31 Day Safer Pilot Challenge. By now, I hope you've already ordered your copy of the book, Aviation Mastery. I hope I'm gonna see you as well at an Aviation Mastery live event here soon in the future. For day eight, I'm sharing with you perhaps one of my favorite things that we do inside of our online ground school. They're called perceptual learning modules. And we do these a lot of different ways. You'll get to see this throughout the 31 days. I'll do different perceptual learning modules, but this particular one, you know, I, I geek out on like the science of learning. So if I could just geek out for a second here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flash some instrument panels in front of you for a very short period of time. Actually, the longest you'll see them is about six seconds. The shortest is about two seconds, maybe a second and a half. Maybe we can work up to that as well. And you need to read, interpret, and understand and then apply what you're reading. So it has to happen that quick. That's what we're working on because in the airplane, that's how quick it is. We can't just stare at the instruments and try to interpret what they're actually doing. So here's how this works. There's really seven possible options that you could see. And here they are. They are the climbing left-hand turn. You could see a climbing right-hand turn, a descending left turn, a descending right-hand turn, the level left-hand turn, the level right turn, and then lastly, a conflict. Now, a conflict means something's wrong. It could be a vacuum system failure. It could be a pedostatic system failure. Something's not making sense. The attitude indicator is saying one thing and the turn and bank or turn coordinator is saying another thing, right? There's a conflict between what information I'm receiving. So that's how these work. If you've ever been to Aviation Mastery Live, you've, you've gone through this demonstration with me. If you haven't been, if you're not alumni already, I hope you will join us. Again, aviationmastery.com to grab the book, to sign up for the live events. We, we just can't wait to have you there. Anyways, I'm enough rambling. Let's dive into the quiz here together. So eyes on your screen. And if you're on a phone, just take it, you know, landscape mode, everything else. Eyes on your screen here. I'm gonna show you the first one now for six seconds. You ready? Here it comes. What do you see? Quick, quick, quick. What do you see? And just like that, six seconds is over. What did you see? That was a level right hand turn. A level right hand turn. Let me teach it now. Let me show you the exact same one. Let me teach it because when I do this live, students don't Get it right all the time. So let me just teach it here with you. you. Ready? Let's go back to our screen and let's go ahead and let's teach it here together. All right, scanning, abdomen indicator, level, altimeter, level, vertical speed, just about zero, head indicator working its way to the right, turn coordinator, the last second I was able to confirm it, it's a level right-hand turn. Let me show you an image real quick. If we can leave the screen up here and show you. You can see if I had to freeze frame it, airspeed was staying the same. Uh, attitude indicator, level to the right. Altimeter, not moving. Vertical speed, I realize it's the tiniest bit below zero, but it might as well be zero. Headed indicator was moving, uh, as well as turn coordinator also. All six instruments confirmed a level right hand turn. All right, this is fun, right? Let's keep moving forward and it's gonna start to get a little more difficult. Let's now do one for five seconds. Eyes on the screen. Let's go ahead and let's see. Get ready to scan and go. What do you see? Scan, scan, scan. Me talking probably doesn't help, but there it goes five seconds. What did you see? How about a descending right hand turn? Who got that right? How you doing? Are you two for two so far? That's, that's, that's pretty good. Let's do another one. All right, um, again, five seconds. Let's make sure we really get this down pat and then I'll speed it up here a little bit. Five seconds, eyes on your screen, let's go. Scan, scan, scan. Five seconds goes by quick, huh? How about a climbing left hand turn? Another one. Four seconds now, you ready? Eyes on your screen, four seconds. Scan it, quick, quick, quick. There goes four seconds. What'd you see? How about a descending left hand turn? 
a descending left hand turn, descending left turn with that one. We're gonna continue spin. See, these are fun. And inside of our online ground school, you could do this for days. It's like we've added some serious gamification. You don't even realize that you're learning, you're getting faster and better each and every time. Let's keep working through some more. You ready for uh, eyes on your screen? Four seconds again, you ready? Scan, scan, scan. Four seconds is up. Who, show of hands, tough one for anybody? That was a tough one. That was a conflict. It was actually a vacuum system failure. The attitude indicator, the head indicator were essentially frozen, yet you saw the turn coordinator showed us in a turn, um, and we I think we were losing some altitude in there as well. Four seconds, that was a conflict, vacuum system failure with that one. All right, we're gonna really speed it up now. Three seconds, that's all I'm gonna flash this in front of you for. You ready? Eyes on your screen, three seconds, let's go. What do you see? Scan, 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 scan. <laughs> three seconds goes by really fast. A climbing right hand turn. A climbing right hand turn. Who is like 100% right now? You're doing, you're doing pretty good uh, with, with that one here, okay? Let's do another one now at three seconds. Everybody ready? Eyes on your screen, eyes on your screen. Here we go, three seconds. Scan, scan, scan. Three seconds is quick. It was a level left hand turn. A level left hand turn. All right, I've got one more for you. Three seconds, we're gonna show it. Eyes on your screen, you ready? Here it goes. Three seconds is gone, just like that. What was that one this time? If you got the conflict wrong earlier, but got it right this time, kudos to you, it was a conflict. It was actually the exact same conflict I gave you earlier, yet I gave it to you with a second less time to scan it. See, how is it after I've seen these issues, they're easier to spot next time? How is it I started at six seconds and a lot of us might've got it wrong. Usually when I do this with a live audience, it's about 50% of the people get it right. By the end of this, as a group, we're scoring in the high 80s, low 90s, getting the three second conflicts correct. Because we take the time to teach it and we get better and better each time. Again, this is all built inside the online grounds. We can take quizzes on this for days uh, and it really, really helps with your instrument scanning. So, M Missouri Nation, I hope you're absolutely loving this 31 Day Safer Palette Challenge. Anyone who's done video work before knows the love and dedication that go into just producing one video, let alone 31 high quality videos every single day. You know, we don't do this for fame or fortune or anything like that. We do this for our love of you all, our M Missouri family, and we do it to create safer, smarter pilots. You know, family takes care of family in crazy times. We're coming out of some crazy times and you are our family. So we are here to take care of you all. I can't wait to read your comments below this video. How'd you do? 100%? Like, how'd you, how did you do here? What, what do you have, seven of them, I think? Were you seven out of seven? How did you do? That's what I really wanna know. Um, how did you score with everything? But I just wanna thank you all so much. Thank you for sharing this. Thank you for the subscribes, the thumbs up on this video. It just, your comments, everything it is oxygen to us, and you are such an amazing blessing. If you've already ordered your copy of the Aviation Mastery Book, thank you um, in advance with that. By day eight, it should be close to uh, getting there if it hasn't arrived already, depending on where you're at geographically. I just can't wait to get your feedback on that as well. M Missouri Nation, have a wonderful rest of your day, and most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you.